I just want to show you what's on the inside of this and tell, it, and tell you my thoughts on it and stuff. There are these little clips and stuff you got to push out to open up the internals. So this is the motor. It is a brushed DC motor. This is the battery. It uses a Dean's connector. And it is 2S. Here's the steering mechanism. It's a servo. And here is the actual motherboard itself. This is the on and off switch. And I highly recommend you unplug it and keep this. Well, it doesn't matter, I guess, the switch, as long as you unplug it while well, it's not in use. The batteries need to be immediately charged when they're not in use. The reason being that I have a terrible experience with LiPos. They seem to die on me if I don't immediately charge on them. Like the lifespan literally dies in a matter of hours. But that's just my personal experience with LiPos. So in conclusion, this is actually a pretty fast RC car, considering its small size and stuff. I didn't think this was going to honestly go as fast as it did. Like, it, it's brushed. It shouldn't go that fast, but it does. The, the steering is a bit difficult to control. I really wish it was compatible with my RC car remote, because... Unfortunately, this thing came with its own remote, which made it a bit difficult to control because with that RC car remote, you couldn't fine tune the parameters. And on top of that, it wouldn't save any of your trim settings, which is like, why have it if you can't really save your trim settings, but oh well, not complaining. So, you're going to see like this GoPro camera on it. That was not originally part of it. I hot melted that onto it because I needed to film video from this somehow. This is definitely a very nice hobby grade RC car ready to use, ready to drive. The suspension on it is very nice. Although I wouldn't know much about the suspension since this is my first RC car. But anyways, thank you for watching and bye.